Good Friday morning and welcome back to News 12. I'm super excited to get to tell you about this because besides just being a family farm in Sequatchie County, they're actually my cousins, so they're a part of my family as well. Stone Creek Farm is here to tell us about their latest achievement. Thank you guys so much for being here. Yeah, thank you for okay. having us. Yes, so thank you. tell me first, okay, you received the Heritage Farm grant, I believe it was last week or the week before. Tell me what exactly that means for people who might have no idea what an honor that is. Okay. Sure. So the Heritage Farm Program was uh, awarded by uh, the Squatcha County County Commissioners, um, and it's a program that honors family farms that have been in the establishment for over 100 years. Um, and so our farm, as long, along with eight, eight others, uh, received that designation last week. That is amazing. And so tell me a little bit of the history behind the farm, because first of all, you two are married, so that's mm -hmm. one generation, but then also you are Laura's father, so that plays into it as well, that two yeah. generations represented, as well as your kids who are not here today, but that'll be a third generation. So, so much history there. Tell me a little bit about what that means to you to have that. Yeah, so, so in all, there's six generations of my family that have been there. Um, History starts about 200 years ago with the first white settler, General William Stone. Uh, <clears throat> he was a hero of the uh, War of 1812. Uh, he became a large landowner in the area. And after his death, his heirs divided it into multiple farms. Uh, my family enters the picture in 1907 when my great-grandparents, uh, Mac and Josephine Wells, bought the farm. Um, <clears throat> they had like 10 heirs, and my grandparents, George and Molly Johnson, Molly was their daughter, reassembled the, the farm from, from all those 10 heirs. And from there it passed to my father and my aunt, uh, Overton Johnson and Josephine Wilmoth. Uh, during, during my growing up years, my aunt and uncle lived on the farm. Uh, we have been there living on the farm since 2020. Uh, today, uh, as I said, it's m my wife Lisa and I, Lauren Allen, and their four children. So three generations living there on the farm today, a total of six generations of my family. That is amazing. There's so much history there as well and some beautiful pictures that we're showing on the screen right now of just the blueberries and all the different crops that you guys have. What exactly do you um, have for the public that besides, I mean, just there's so much importance in farming in our community, but for years and years, it's cool to see it still coming to fruition all these years later. What are some of the main crops that people could find at your farm? Okay. So uh, today, our, uh, primarily what we grow is blueberries. Uh, we're a pick your own farm and uh, we do what you pick flowers as well. Um, and uh, we're, and we're still we're still new at this. You yeah, know, it's it's been in the family for generations, but this is sort of a new chapter in the farm's history. Um, and so uh, this past summer uh, was our first summer to do to open the farm up and yeah. welcome people to pick blueberries and pick flowers. Um, and uh, we have plans to expand and do uh, some additional vegetable production as well in the coming season. So we're that, excited about that. That is amazing and that's so awesome. For any other information, where would people go to maybe either pick their own flowers or schedule a visit to your farm to see more information? We do have a website. It's uh, stonecreek-farm.com. Um, you can find more information there. We're also on Facebook and Instagram. Um, so lots of ways to find us on the internet. That is awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here and for coming all the way from Sequatchie County down to Chattanooga. <laughs> this morning. We appreciate it. And for any other information, you can go visit their website. We'll also be posting some helpful information on our website at WDEF.com as well. Philip, Laura, Alan, thank you so much for taking the time to be here. And for more information, you can go visit their website and take a trip out to the beautiful farm. We'll be right back with more News 12 this morning coming up after this.